all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the way we normally do it and i'm always here to give guys updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone yes um i'm here to clarify some certain things for you guys you know irrespective of the fact that we are all hoping for moses Cassidio D to be done we should not forget about other key positions that chelsea need to sign players there we don't have a perfect replacement for our backup for Christopher Nkunku. That right wing, we can't put all hope on Madrike and this other guy on that position. And then when you go to the other aspect, go keeper, you can she be an adon here about keeper move to Real Madrid, which I'm going to talk about. Because you can't put all our hope on Sanchez. You can't do that. And also, people have been saying Adam Stella, Adam Stella. If Chelsea you no know, say they will delay for this, why they can't allow? Why they can't cancel Adam Stella deal? Well, I'm going to talk about that deal because there's some things you don't know about that deal. There's some things you know. The ones that you are seeing is that uh, based on Cassidy, you didn't make them cancel them, but no, no, not because of that. That is why I'm here to say everything. And also, if you watch, I'm not in a hurry to drop post or drop videos back and front because if you go to social media or go on twitter or any platform everybody is saying one thing even though they tweet the next tweet for now is still one thing that they are talking about i'm just being realistic i'm just being truthful if you go on right if you go online right now you see where they write Casidio, this thing to chelsea chelsea are pushing hard you check another tweet, they will tweet again. You see Chelsea are closing, finalizing the deal. You check another one again. Cassidy only accepted then Chelsea. A bid of 150 million pounds will be pushed very soon. Do you understand? It's, it's the same thing, but they are putting it in different languages. Nobody will tell you this, but I have to tell you. So, if you watch my last video, I just talk and once and for all, Cassidy will come make we just wait you understand but before i push forward to everything as i continue please kindly like this video it will not take you anything as you watch you like share subscribe follow the page because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone yes um the cassette dodi has taken not less than at least it's going to over 72 hours right now for Chelsea to finalize that deal. Because if you go online, you hear one story. It's just one thing. It's just one thing. But hopefully, hopefully, because the last report I got, that was from Sky Sport, the video I watched, they said that um, Chelsea will finalize that deal before the Liverpool game tomorrow. So let us just put our mind there. Let us wait and see if truly Chelsea really want to sign this guy. If truly they want to finalize this deal before the Liverpool match, since it has been broadcast and it has been announced. So, we could just wait. We should not be in a hurry to even make the deal done when the deal is not even done. Or say the deal is done already. Just calm down and relax. One thing you should have in mind, like I said before, he's going to come. I keep saying it. Sometimes when I say it, I just believe. I'm a Chelsea fan, a full Chelsea fan. Because if we continue like this, continue being emotional about this deal, we fit, some of us fit drain inside. Because right now, imagine a transfer where they make, as, as it stands now, 90% of Chelsea fans, they do online, 247. They just want to hear the next update about this boy. Just imagine that night where Kasaido, where Brian Liverpool table that bid to to this thing, to Chelsea. See the emotional emotional this thing trauma where it caused some Chelsea fans that night. You need to see tweets, you need to see comments. Even me myself. That is why people are saying, Peter, you know, go drop video, this, that. No, it's not that I don't want to drop video, but I don't want to drop video that I would start telling you something that. At, in the next minute, you see another thing will happen. No, you are just being careful. Everybody is just being careful of teaching out some certain information to the public. 
consigning this Moses Katsaido deal. You understand? So let's just relax and be calm and believe that Chelsea will not let us down. The board will not let us down and they will do the needful. And also don't forget that Lavia is also involved in this deal. They are planning on getting these two midfielders to the club. You get me? So if they get the two of them, they will work out things for other positions too. Then, moving forward, I talked about Adam Steller. Some people were saying, eh, Chelsea, why they will allow that Steller to go? Why they don't leave Adam Steller, Lavia, and Moses Kasaido? Because they allow and eh, Steller go, we'll never even get anyone. See, they did the first medical on Wednesday. Then the second medical was done in London. When they did that medical, it was confirmed that even in the next four months, if they sign that boy, even in the next four months, you know, go play. Or three months, you know, go play. Based on the injury level, when they on the hamstring injury, when they on. You understand? So Chelsea don't want to risk it. Chelsea don't want to play that kind of gamble. If I'm lying, you can go online, check his his uh, injury history when he was in Lizzy. Check it when he's in uh, when he's playing for Leeds right now. Check injury history for Leeds and Leipzig. So it's better that we. I know it's bad after much hope and everything. Then Chelsea does disappoint the guy. It's bad, you understand. But guy injury they very poor. It's poor. if you see now some way they manageable or some way we see at least even then they go in you know, no two day obvious. But this one only two day obvious. So, at least that one one side don't come out. Then, Real Madrid, they are advanced in finalizing a deal to get Kepa Rezabalaga. No be signed. Loan. Now, loan in the go. You understand? Now, loan in the go. So, that loan, they fit sign them in the process. If everything work out well for them. And already, normally, now Bayern Munich should be one go. But Kepa don't reason and say more. When to Chelsea, day Chelsea, he no play me. Now Bayern way I go go we go use me. So for as uh, uh, Carlos as a lot to even make demand say make them go for Kepa even if for for loan or permanent anyone where they feel good then get them. It, that means definitely go make use of the guy. You know say Kotoa right now get injury and in the undergo surgery which the injury fee take months before he go heal. So they need an urgent goalkeeper in that post. And you know, say right now, if you go to World of Football, goalkeepers they know today right now. Martinez, don't, all of them they don't resume work. So it all it all depends, sure. If they go for Kepa, it's fine. And Kepa to this night, we they wait for that final and uh, this thing talk. But it is here we go because Kepa has a great personal time to Real Madrid. And Chelsea and Real Madrid that uh, they are waiting to exchange do and document. Then Kepa will go to Madrid on a loan move. Then let's see if it can be sealed permanently along the line. Why Chelsea will be going back to the to the uh, uh, transfer market to see if they can get a backup goalkeeper for Robert Sanchez? Because with the way the team team be now, Robert Sanchez will automatically be Chelsea number one. If Chel if Kepa should leave this night, Kepa should leave Chelsea this night, automatically Sanchez will keep against Liverpool tomorrow morning. Tomorrow evening. Sorry. You understand? Then um consigning the Liverpool match. I'm going to do a preview video tomorrow morning. But for now, why we are just I'm just being quiet. I'm, we are still following up with this transfer. Uh, saga that is going on right now. We are following it to as in back to back, no joke. So, like I said before, if you go online right now, you see this, see the same information. Until you hear it is confirmed, that is when you start having that relaxed mind that this guy is in your club. But for now, just the full on the way there, but don't be too emotional about it. That is what I will tell my fans over here. Don't be too emotional about it. But be rest assured that 
since your club have decided that they want to get the boy and the boy have decided to join Chelsea, just relax your mind over the deal and watch what will happen. But for now, Liverpool never back out. Liverpool money see stand. You understand? So let's see how it goes. But for now, do it to like the video, share, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters. Thank you very much.